Are the headlines true? Can melatonin cause heart failure? A recent study featured as a research abstract at the American Heart Association's scientific meetings say so, but hold up one second. Abstracts are not peer-reviewed, and the findings are considered preliminary until published as full manuscripts in a peer-reviewed scientific journal. That said, let's look at the details. Melatonin has been hailed as a natural, safe, over-the-counter supplement. It's usually integrated into the nightly routine alongside a lavender pillow spray. But wait, the American Heart Association throws a plot twist. Long-term users show a higher rate of heart failure. Is the trouble in the gummies, or is it the long-term insomnia that's the underlying cause? The villain might look like melatonin, but what if the real culprit is persistent insomnia? People so chronically unable to sleep that they grab melatonin on a nightly basis. Their sleeplessness might already be wearing on the heart. Here's the issue with this study. The nightly melatonin group could be the group with more severe sleep issues, more stress, more comorbidities. In short, the cast of characters with higher risk. And because the data are retrospective, we're watching from the bleachers, not directing the play. We cannot flip the script and say, melatonin caused heart failure. At best we say there's an association worth investigating. Meanwhile, backstage there are other actors. Over-the-counter dosing that's untracked, different forms and strengths of melatonin, people who don't show up in the records but still take the pill. The audience doesn't see them, but they matter. So yeah, this is a dramatic red flag, but not a smoking gun. It's like a spotlight on a suspect, but the detective says, hold on, we need the full case file. If you're using melatonin occasionally for short-term sleep disturbance, jet lag, temporary insomnia, this study does not imply immediate doom. The results are specific to long-term documented use in insomnia patients, and they are preliminary. If you're using melatonin nightly for months, years, because of chronic insomnia, it's a good cue to check in with a healthcare provider. Are there underlying issues? Sleep apnea, restless legs, depression, anxiety, driving the insomnia. Could non-pharmacologic sleep strategies, cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, sleep hygiene, etc., help reduce reliance on melatonin? Are you in a high cardiovascular risk category, hypertension, obesity, diabetes, etc.? Then discussing sleep and supplement use is doubly important. Keep in mind, supplements in the U.S. are less regulated than prescription drugs. There's variability in purity, dose, and formulation. The study mentions that as a caveat. More research is needed. We'll want peer-reviewed full publication, analyses adjusting for insomnia severity, dose response data, and ideally randomized trials, though those are hard to do for long-term supplement use. Finally, natural doesn't automatically mean risk-free, especially when taken long-term but risk also doesn't equal cause. In short, yes, the study raises an alarm bell, but no, it does not show that melatonin causes heart failure. It shows people using melatonin long-term within a specific insomnia-diagnosed population appear to have higher rates of heart failure, hospitalization, and death. But whether melatonin is the cause or simply a marker of worse underlying sleep issues and cardiovascular health predispositions remains unknown. If nothing else, this study shows how important sleep is. Until next time, stay curious and stay healthy. Peter Marino, signing out.